Wine has taught me that there is a lot of meaning in life, that there's something important about pleasure in addition to just the things that we think are important. It's important to bring pleasure to people's lives. That has real meaning rather than just the things that get you by on a daily basis. Robert Mondavi is my wine hero. I met Robert Mondavi twice in my life and there was one time that I was talking to him and we were talking about selling wine on the internet and he grabbed my arm and pulled me aside and said, I don't know about this. And when somebody who knows more in his little finger than I will ever know about selling wine says, I don't know about this, that's a remarkable person. My favorite wine movie moment may not be one single moment. It's scenes like in The Godfather where wine is just part of the family experience, where it's all, I would love to say it's just one thing, but where it's all part of the family. I've got three kids. I want my kids to leave feeling like that's the thing that they enjoyed about what we do. California Pinot Noir is at a turning point, I think, right now. I think it has become to a point where it might become commoditized, is that the word? But it, it could be become a commodity. I think what we need to do right now is think out of the box. What's new, what's exciting, what's different? What can we do that is real? Uh, I don't know where it's gonna go, but I know that it's gonna take us pushing the envelope of our thoughts more than anything else to be really, really exciting. What is the most unique way that I have opened a bottle of wine? Uh, probably, with my shoe. I've got a couple of different shoes that have things on the bottom of them that I can do things that will help me open bottles and I have tried that a few different drunken ways usually. If you can get in the bottle at that point in time in the night, if it works, if the bottle gets open, it works. That's the main thing.